damage points. So now I've got four out of five. If I get five, the enemy team knows where I am. Oh! Did you hear that? There was a voice line for that. A devastating sandstorm is approaching quickly. We've got to leave. Wait, one minute 30 until the extract. And more extract points have opened up now. I think near the end of the game, you can just extract anywhere. He knows I'm here. Target destroyed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ten seconds. There it is. No! No, 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Okay, let us commence forth. War Thunder has a new April Fool's event, and it is Mad Thunder, which is a parody of Mad Max. It has an extraction type game mode, so we got Tarkov Light. But I'm not going to do free for all for now, I'm going to do team battle. Let's see, which vehicle to start with? Dual 23mm gun, or the Porcupine with its single 20, 20mm on the back, or the Enchilla with its, ooh, that's the Swedish Bofors gun vehicle. Gather resources on the map and evacuate with them to the zone, the exit zone, which is all the Tarkov light element, before the arrival of a devastating sandstorm. And you can see on here are the areas with resources. We're spawning on this side of the map, I think we have to extract on the opposite side, and so does the enemy team. So like Tarkov, you spawn in, you kind of move for the map trying to collect resources and you're going to clash with each other midway. I like how they're mad maxified, look at the exhaust fire coming out. You've got the spikes on the wheels, spikes all over the front. Extra fuel drum, box of scrap on the back because you're traveling the wastelands trying to get resources. Uh oh. In with the Dakar. Yes, target destroyed. My first target destroyed in this game, and I'm incredibly lucky to be alive right now. Only two crew remain. This is why I hate video games, to appeal to the male fantasy. And there's the extract. One rage point. Interesting. Oh, I get to spawn into a raid again? Interesting. Okay, let's go. And different vehicles have different load capacity. So the boar can have a capacity of 50, whereas the porcupine and the enchilla can only carry 25 resources. Interesting. So having the most DACA isn't always the best, just like in Tarkov. You can carry a smaller backpack and be more mobile, but you won't be as able to carry as much loot as you want out of the raid. If you carry a giant backpack, you're much more visible and vulnerable from further away, but you'll be able to extract with a lot more. Curious. Again, I love the designs of what they've done to this vehicle. Mad Maxified it. Spikes, a giant grill for ramming. They'll drive over these resources, that's fuel I'm guessing. Yep, fuel, scrap, armor parts, vehicle parts. And you can see at the top of the screen, like, the percentages on, that I have in my inventory. 50 out of 50 resources. Now to drive to the extract. Oh, look at those new particle effects around the tires. Those are new, right? Those weren't in the game before. I'm going to use words that I don't really know what they mean, but I'm going to say volumetric dust trails left behind. Those look dense. And really cool. That isn't in the base game of War Thunder, is it? Am I just noticing this now? But that dust effect behind the vehicle looks awesome. Oh, we got a new gunner sight. Or oh, is this always here for this vehicle? It's definitely new to me. Because I don't recognize this sight. This looks like something you would download on War Thunder Live. It's just me and my vehicle versus the entirety of the Mad Max world. And as if I'm playing Tarkov Customs, it's time for me to sneak around the outskirts of the map. Because I am a rat, not a chad. I thought there might be somebody hiding near these rocks. Another bird out right there. Going static so I can hit well. And he's going uphill so he's going slowly. Done. But he's got someone shooting him as well. There. I went for the gun crew first. Go for the tires. Damn. He's getting away. Go for him. The gun is fully disabled. He's vulnerable, I think. I think this game mode has buffed the vehicles a little bit where you don't expect, but that's okay. It means you have to focus on weak points and disabling guns and focusing on the crew rather than just trying to hope for a single hit anywhere killing them. 
So I don't mind that a little bit of arcadiness to the vehicle combat. See, instead of going for the main road, I'm just trying to skulk around the map now. There. Okay, that was just one hit straight to the driver. That was the last crew member alive. Because in this game mode, you can still keep driving as long as you've got one member of crew. You don't get... You don't need two. Just one is okay. Okay, that's it. My inventory is full. But it doesn't mean squat if I don't get to the extract. I need that sandstorm to kick in to reduce the combat range. This is a bit creepy. I, the sightlines are very good right now. I'm going to gush again about the volumetric smoke coming off the dust produced by my tyres. I think that's cool as heck. There. Uh oh. Gonna. No! No! Dang it! Oh god, and my extracts on. I think if you want to grind this event, there is no incentive to do it in the free for all mode. Just do it in team deathmatch. It's way too difficult to get from one side of the map to the other when there's 16 players dicking around on it. Unless they give you like double resources for extracting or something. In the free for all versus the team deathmatch. Visibility is going to be reduced now because of the storm. Yeah, this feels a bit more sane now. I'm not so worried about getting sniped from further away. Yeah, there's one enemy highlighted on the map because he's killed five people now. Okay, we're about to get the drop on a Rage 5 person. There. Uh oh. Someone that was engaging him is now engaging me and our track's disabled. That's it for us, I think, maybe. If I can just drive backwards. No, Angel's out. Oh, he just died. We're stuck in an awkward angle here. Now, he knows not to engage me directly. He's trying to cripple the gun. It's game over for me. Interesting. Where's my last crew member? Ah, he's up in the cab. Now, I hope this isn't me being a negative Nancy, but I don't see the incentive to do the free fall version of this. I would stick to the team deathmatch version. The chances of getting from one side of the map to the other completely alive with your resources, not worth it. There. I see, the cabs seem to be quite heavily armoured for the shells we have. Good hit. I can fire faster, I'm just trying to fire sniper-like. Yes, that's two kills now. But I wasn't really going to focus on kills. I chose a vehicle that can get kills, but I chose it more in survivability. Because that Bofus gun is very good at killing enemy stuff. Nope, no resources here. Maybe if I go near these guys, they'll have resources. Yep, there's a nice stack of them there. Oh, there's stacks all around them. Little neat stacks of five. There's two. Okay, we're full on loot. We've got all the four types of parts that there are right now, and let's just hit the extract. Uh oh, I'm getting hit as well. Let's finish this guy off. This gun's looking at me now. Target destroyed, get it back around again. He just finished reloading. Ah, tide just popped off. Oh look, look at the look at it go. It's over there now. That's actually cool. Is that in the base game? Because at the moment, when you lose a tire, it just kind of is still a tire attached. That's the first time I've seen it like pop off and the vehicle suspension. You know, you dip down. That was pretty cool. Oh, those are resources by the dead body there. So let's go get him. No need to let anything go to waste in the wasteland. Wind's picking up, so the storm's going to start coming in. Yep, there's the storm. Told you. 
This is not the storm that kills you, this is the storm that lowers the visibility around halfway into the round. And I think the storm always approaches from the south of the map, moving upwards towards the north. Forty nine units extracted from the zone. <laughs> I love the little voice lines that I did as well, you know, witness me. How's the event? Uh it's okay. I don't like how they sort of made it another grindy event. Okay, we're full of loot. Time to hit the extract. I've got a lot of armor parts there. I think armor parts are orange, so I would like to get out alive for once. There, now all the extracts have opened up in the last 1 minute and 30 seconds. So you don't need to stress that like, even if you're on the wrong side of the map, you can just leave from any of the 4 extracts available to you. Ooh, that's rough buddy, somebody died in the extract. I know it's very easy to have ideas and more difficult to execute them, but I think this game mode would benefit from more dynamic objective. Like I like the Tarkov light at the moment, I think that's quite fun. I had a lot of fun when I was trying to chase down the enemy earlier and I was catching up from behind on the road and he was in the desert and I was trying to line up my gun and was speeding and I think that element of Mad Max is missing from this game mode. Maybe if there's like an armoured war rig, you know from the last film Fury Road, moving on the big middle road going up the map and it had AI escort, and maybe if one team had to defend it and the other team had to attack it. That could be fun as hell because that emphasizes like the speed because Mad Max is about always moving and shooting. Because you know it's like ships on land essentially. And that element seems to be missing so now it's just War Thunder Tarkov. But with a Mad Max setting backdrop. Can you imagine that there's like the war rig you know an 18 wheeler with like two big semi trailers behind it. And to slow the war rig down you have to pop its tires or something which you know armored. Uh, tires anyway so you have to shoot off the metal grills that protect it then shoot the tires out once you shoot out like nine of the 18 wheels or whatever then the vehicle starts slowing down to like 20 kph and when you get close enough to it then you can start looting it maybe as it moves along very slowly i don't know i'm just pulling this out of my ass now and the vehicles they could use for these convoys could be interesting think of like an s300 carrier or something like that i forgot the name but like those big heavy soviet vehicles that carry like nukes on the back surrounded by smaller vehicles like these ones and it could be either AI guarded or maybe one team has to guard it while the other team uh, attacks maybe and then it switches sides it's easy to have ideas hard to execute them but I feel like at the moment this game mode could be more fun it's nearly there it's just missing a few things is that the YouTube title a good idea badly executed or something like that War Thunder's April Fool's a good idea bad execution there you go that's your clickbait thing right War Thunder April Fools, a great idea, bad execution. That's a vehicle there. Oh, the gun overheated and the spread increased. Or is it always this bad? Uh oh. I need a dip in the terrain. I'm going to try and get him because there's a boar up there as well. Maybe that will help. Oh, got to reload the mag. Oh no, there's a lot of them actually. See, Mad Max is just naval warfare on land. Unfortunately, there's four of them now. This is bad. I'm now using him as a shield. Okay, cool. Rage point. Oh, no. We've got maximum rage. That's not good. The enemy now knows I'm here, like, all the time. Okay, initiate a repair. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought you'd gone from the extract. What the heck? Why are you still there? You should have extracted, you dingus. Did you hear that? They said the funnies. Oh, what a lovely day. They basically just quote everything from Mad Max. Oh, what a lovely day. Witness me when you extract as well. Ride to Valhalla, shiny and chrome. Oh, look at all that yummy loot. Nom, 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 nom. See, I can trust on the oil, Derek. It looks small, but it seems to have a lot of resources condensed. 
I had another idea as well, which is like allowing small crop duster like aircraft to participate. Since all of the vehicles at the moment are light auto cannons other than the Rhino sort of vehicle. I don't think it would be that overpowered. It's sort of like crop duster biplane that you can spawn in later with like light 50 cows on it and maybe rocket pods. Maybe tiny 50 kilogram bombs. And if they swoop low enough as well, they could pick up resources off dead players, maybe. Sort of like vultures flying around. Big belching smoke uh, smoke trails behind their engines as well, because, you know, bad, don't exactly have fresh pots in the wastelands. They might add a bit of verticality as well. You're like, oh, fuck, that's a plane. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, got me a plane. Call them buzzards or something. You know, you give them in-game names, like a light sort of... Um, Paraglider, paramotor, that's it. I like paramotor, like the buzzard, and then you get a heavier one and call it like the vulture. How am I even going to engage in that? I'm just going around it. I need the resources. Gyrocopters, yes, I've got to have a gyrocopter in the apocalypse. They're great. I live again. I live again. That's a fourth line I've heard now. If you choose to spawn here, you have to go like down here. If you choose this spawn up here, you get the upper one. Okay, that was kind of a dick move. Oh, there's new voice signs! I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna listen to them. It's cool, it did new voice signs. I wasn't expecting that. Forefathers, one and all, bear witness! I love these voice lines. I love them. The D point was in our hearts all along. It's such a funny meme at this point because people have no idea what the D point is, but they forget there was a D point in the old ground forces. But it's a legend practically at this point because there are people that play Wolf on there that probably aren't as old as when that feature was in the game. That's a good voice line for cover me because you're telling the team, you know, witness me, I'm doing something, follow me. I'm not retreating, I swear. Okay, I know people are saying mid-event, and I can agree with that in some sense. But also, I do like how War Thunder, when they do an event, they do go all out. There's new voice sites, there's music sometimes. They do models, they test mechanics that are coming in the future. Like, these models, they had to spend time and effort to make a Mad Max theme. They made new player models. The gunner has a model, the commander has a model, the driver has a different model, which you can't see there, but I think he's got like a gas mask or something somewhere. It takes time to do all of this, and I appreciate it. It's fun. I mean, look at that volumetric smoke. And it's blowing in the wind as well. I mean, come on, that looks cool, right? Alright, one minute to get to the extract. We'll make it. Just not fully laden. Witness me! Brothers, I must make it to the extract, you dickin! No, the extract was right there. Ah, check it out. The suspension. The rear tire got blown off and everything's dipped down now. No! This is officially a certified test for the Toyota Tech Tree and a new Syria map being added. Try to drive you. Yes. Hmm. Nothing spectacular, but because it's just the windshield attached right there by the driver, but it's still fun. A little immersive. Actually, I'm really stupid. This reminds me of, uh, what was that parody movie? Actually, I can't remember the name. What was it? It was like a police comedy film, I think. Naked Gun, that's it, yes. Or Naked Weapon, whatever the series is. I think they had different title names, but it reminds me of that with that camera view just strapped to the front. That's the first vehicle I've seen with an upgrade. So he's got a recoilless gun up there, as well as a side 50 cal, and then a twin auto cannon mount. Wow, that's cool as heck. That's cool. He's only got one 50 cal gunner, not two. Lovely. I think that element of the update is very cool. It's just a shame you have to grind a shed load to get that upgrade. A ridiculous amount. 
a necessary amount. Nice scrap. What do we go over here? Okay, we're rich. Fully laden, 50 resources, well, 48 out of 50. Let's hit the extract. I think this April Fool's is testing a few new mechanics, one of which is trail dust being volumetric. Oh, that's the edge of the map. Let's not go out of bounds. Because if you notice behind the vehicle now, we're kicking up trail dust, which I don't think you do in the base wolf on the game. At least not with these sort of puffy, smoky clouds. So, we got volumetric trail dust. Another mechanic being tested is actual gunner sights. Let me try that again. It's sort of like the first person view on single defensive guns on aircraft. So you're viewing it from the gunner point of view. You got a custom gun sight and you can also see some of the gun assembly in the gun instead of just looking down the generic tank sight. Another mechanic also being tested is the damage modeled for armored cars being a bit more interesting. Whereas if you get a wheel destroyed or blown off, the vehicle will actually collapse if that vehicle supporting the, the if that wheel was supporting the vehicle's weight, the vehicle will collapse down onto it. Those are the three things that I've found so far, but if you noticed anything else being tested, please let me know. Yeah, someone else going down the road is being engaged. Oh, interesting. What's that little target reticles popping up? Does that mean friendly shots? Oh, dear. Oh, it's loot. Loot popping up on my radar. His tires popped off. His gunner sights out. He's not moving the gunner, so he might... Be oh, no, he's looking at me. Fire! Everything. Frick. Get down, get down, get down. Don't let him shoot at the tires. Just hit the extract then. Go, 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 go. It's okay. We only lost one gunner crew. We actually have quite a lot of crew on this vehicle, but we're fully laden. I've got almost 50 units of resources. I don't want to die at this final extract. Right, I'm going to choose the thing with the both his gun now. Less loot capacity, but much more DACA. I need more kills. I need rage tokens. And you get those by killing people. You can also pick up enemy rage tokens. So, like, if you kill someone, you gain a token. And then, if you kill them before they extract, you gain their tokens too. If I can get in front of them, they can't use their gun, I think. Oh, frick me. No, he wants to get the kill before he leaves. It's only the driver that's alive in the cab. Oh, he extracted. That is a talk of moment, I guess. Yep, that's proof also. In this game mode, you can still drive with one member of crew. Which is a very old mechanic they seem to have resurrected. And it was only for a very short period of time, like a month or two where you could drive around with one member of crew. In the very old mechanic, the way it works is that you would hold down like mouse one, and then slowly the driver after like 10 seconds will switch over to the gun, and the driver station will be abandoned. And if you wanted to drive, you would hold W, or drive in key, and the gunner would transfer to the driver position. It's quite funny, the idea of like one crew member moving around the vehicle, surrounded by his deceased crewmates just to continue operating the vehicle which is part of the there is a beast deep inside mentality and it's kind of back except i don't think the gunner station is available anymore you can just drive because extracting your resources is the key here the gunners are just to keep you alive the upgrade system works like this it's a tarkov light game mode where you can spawn into the round there are resources scattered around and your extract is roughly on the opposite side of the map you spawn in you run over resources, which you collect them. You have an inventory size depending on your vehicle. Some vehicles have like 25, others could have 50. And there might be other inventory sizes, but I haven't locked other vehicles to find out yet. With the inventory, you can carry up to four resources, scrap metal, vehicle parts, armored parts, and electronics. You can gather these resources up to your inventories full and then just try to extract and that secures those resources. But unlike Tarkov, when you extract, you just leave the map completely. The round lasts around 15 minutes, you can respawn in another vehicle. And you can do this again. You can spawn in, gather resources, and hit the extract. You also want to collect rage tokens. And I hope I don't get this wrong, but with rage tokens, if you kill somebody, you gain one rage token. You can also kill somebody, and they drop their rage tokens. So if they kill two people, 
and you kill them, in theory you should have 3 rage tokens if you pick up what they dropped. If you have up to 5 rage tokens you are then highlighted on the enemy minimap so they know where you are. So it's almost a bit of a punishment if you're doing murdering everybody. You're pretty obvious and also you're a high value target so if you want to extract if you've got a lot of rage tokens but also the enemy team knows where you are so you're sprinting for the extract at that point. And you are gathering these 5 resources, well 4 you can gather, 5th one you sort of kill, but you are gathering these 5 resources so you can upgrade your vehicle. You can either, if you want to upgrade your vehicle, you got normally 3 stages. So you can do like an upgrade to the vehicle which puts on more armor plating, and then another upgrade which also seems to add more guns as well. I'm especially interested in getting the solid, I'm interested in getting the solid bore and then upgrading to the stronger bore. Which has a recordless gun on top and a 50 cal gunner on the side. That looks pretty cool. But then also with these resources you can buy other vehicles as well. You've got the Reptile, Armadillo, Rhino and Mule. And these vehicles have also got their upgrades as well. So you've got Stronger Rhino which seems to have like a package on the side for more armor protection. And then Stronger Rhino which has a bigger gun. And then you've got the module upgrades for the vehicles as well. So each of the vehicles is roughly the same thing. Loot Imager which means if you're looking down the scope it highlights loot. The range scanner which can highlight enemies for a brief area around you. And then like smoke generator. And then also if you spend resources you can get decals and such. My complaint about the event is that it's a little bit grindy. I've been playing this event for 2 hours and a bit now. I've just bought 2 very cheap upgrades, loot image upgrades. That's it. I can't afford the f the first vehicle that you have to buy. I can't afford it. Maybe it's my skew of stuff. I've got a lot of electronics there, but I need vehicle parts. And I need to get more kills. And even then, I still got to grind for the next level. And then grind for the next one. And then grind for the next one. And then I got to grind the unlocks as well. Look at this, armoured parts, I need 330 armoured parts to get the first upgrade for the solid mule. Yes, it's the very final thing in the tree, and this event is going on for 3 weeks. But when you're grinding this, you're not grinding regular War Thunder. I know you're not meant to play video games to grind endlessly, but... You have to grind on April Fool's mode, just to earn yourself the loading screen. And the title. And you're sacrificing so much time to play this mode, which I found started getting a bit repetitive after two hours. Maybe if I had a couple of other maps thrown in to mix them up or more spawn points, it would have been more interesting. But I'm thinking it's a bit of a mid-event. Um, this event does not spark that much joy. It's really cool. I can see the effort they put into some of it. But also, I don't know why they made the grind so intense. Why can't they just dive into it and start having fun? Alright, if you guys have anything to add, I would like to hear... Like the title of this video says, it's a good idea, but badly executed.